AMS 2140, multi-channel measurements in route mode. In this tutorial, we'll review the steps for multi-channel measurements captured while in route mode on the AMS 2140. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. Let's start by looking at the AMS Machinery Manager software and review how to configure the database for these measurements. Select the Database Setup icon and choose Tree Structure from the pop-up menu. Here we have a list of machines that have already been created. When I open the first machine, I see a very normal machine structure typical of one of the templates used for quick creation from the RBM Wizard application. Select Edit from the right navigation, and then select Modify Group Channels. Here you see a screen showing Motor Outboard Horizontal and Motor Outboard Peak View. The first two measurements shown are in the same group and same channel. This means their measurements will come from a single accelerometer. Your next group is Group 22. 23. And so on. In this example, the peak view measurement is always taken simultaneously with the motor outboard horizontal measurement. This is the default setup from the RBM wizard, but the AMS 2140 is able to collect up to four channels simultaneously. Let's take a closer look at how we can take advantage of this feature. Going back to our tree structure, select the second machine in the list. It is a copy of the first machine but I have already changed the groupings. Select Edit and then Modify Group Channel. Here you see how to combine up to four channels. Group numbers 1 through 19 are reserved for a triax sensor, while group numbers 20 through 99 are used by individual sensors. In this example, we are working with a triax sensor, so we are able to have all three of the Motor 1 measurements in Group 1 motor 2 measurements in group 2, fan inboard measurements in group 3, and so on. Inside each group, we have to consider the mounting directions inside the triax, horizontal, vertical, and axial. So for each group, you see channels 1, 2, and 3 designated. Let's take a look at another example where we have included peak view measurements. Select Edit, then Modify Group Channels. Here you see the structure is the same, except that the peak view measurement has the same group and channel information as the horizontal point. The examples we've looked at so far have used triac sensors. If you are working with four separate sensors, you can measure the motor outboard horizontal and vertical simultaneously with the motor inboard horizontal and vertical. Let's look at the configuration. Since we are not working with triac sensors now, the group numbers must start with 20 or 21. Since we can measure four channels simultaneously, the motor outboard and inboard points are in the same group, as are the four points for the fan. The channels are simply numbered 1 through 4. If you want to add a peak view measurement to that configuration, it would look something like this. Here we have six points in the same group. Four of the six points will be collected simultaneously, and the two additional points will be collected automatically in sequence. Even though you are limited to four channels simultaneously, you need only start the data collection once to take all six points, giving the illusion of six simultaneous points. The configurations we have reviewed were for roll element bearings. Let's look at an example for a sleeve bearing. For the generator, we are using displacement probes. We can put them in the same group and assign them channels 1 through 4. We've looked at several database configurations, but now let's take a look at how this appears when sent to the analyzer. First, I will start the machine. From the home screen of the AMS 2140, select F8, Route Mode. Next, you will see the first machine in the route. 
We are at the motor outboard horizontal point, and you see that it is grouped. Push Enter, and you will see data is being acquired from three points simultaneously using triac sensors, and then jumps to the three points from the inboard side. Once the data is collected from the motor inboard, the collector jumps to the fan inboard, and eventually the fan outboard. This machine is now done. Next, we'll collect data using the same configurations for triac sensors, but with the additional peak view measurement. This time when I push Enter, Four points are collected in this plane before moving on to the next plane. Note that during data collection, the AMS2140 shows spectra and waveform for the four points, so you are seeing a total of eight plots. These examples were for the triac sensors. Let's move to an example using four separate sensors. When I start acquisition, we see measurements for both the outboard and inboard simultaneously. When I move to the fan, we see the same simultaneous data collection for the inboard and outboard points. In the next machine, we added a peak view measurement, so there are six points to collect in every plane. Here you see the four points collecting, followed by the two remaining points in sequence. And now the machine is complete. Now we'll collect data on the sleeve bearings. You see that very quickly, the data has been collected. Next, we will collect on the generator. And it is also quickly done. In this tutorial, we have only covered collecting data for multiple channels. There are other tutorials on the analysis of the data. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com/ams2140. Thank you for watching.